I'm just going to explain to you the different functions of each pet. This is the chenille. So this is very good if you have pets at home like cats or dogs because this is really good for picking up hair. Then we have this, our dry mop. This is my favourite. So this is exactly the same as the dusting meat. The one that I showed you earlier on that picks up dust. So this one will replace your vacuum and your broom. So this is like a silent vacuum and it actually picks up even more dust than your vacuum because even very, very fine dust, this thing will suck it up because it's based on static. We also have something for different tiles. So this is a tile mop. So this one is good for um, textured tiles. I mean, it's not this kind of smooth tiles, but those that you have in your bathroom, um, your kitchen, maybe in your porch or garage area where it's like cobblestone, you know, it's, it's uneven surface. So this one is like a brush. It will actually brush the tiles and you can use it wet or dry. So you really don't need to have a vacuum. Then you will do wet mop. So this is like a normal mop, lah, you know, that means you mop with water only. No need for chemical. So, and lastly, we have a window mop because our mop system you can also use to clean glass doors like this. This is made from the window cloth. Earlier on, I showed you the window cloth that remove watermarks. So this is for polishing your glass uh, sliding door, all right? So our mop system is also capable of removing up to 99% bacteria from the surface. I'll do a simple demo to show you that. So I will just sprinkle it on the floor. Can you see the, the glow germs? So assuming this are bacteria. So can, you can hear the suction, right? So that's the static charge that is created by the mop. So when you do mopping, you'll be creating more static charge because you're mopping and you're uh, rubbing it against the surface. So I will show you while we pick up the glow gem. So when you do a figure eight, so this is how you do it. But I can still see a little bit of residue. So now I'm going to do my wet mop. So this mop pad has already, is, is damp. I've actually run it through the tap. You don't need it to be very wet. You just need it damp because you are cleaning the floor with the fibres. You're not using water to clean the floor. It's, it's just to help it glide. So with just water, I can remove 99% of bacteria from the floor.